Microsoft Azure Portal is a powerful web-based interface that lets us manage and monitor our Azure resources efficiently. One of the best feature of the Azure Portal is its flexibility. We can customize it to fit our workflow and preferences. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk you through how to manage your Azure portal settings and personalize your experience. Log into the Azure portal at portal.azure.com. We can change the default settings of the Azure portal to meet our own preferences. To view and manage your portal settings, click the gear icon to open the settings panel where you can adjust your preferences. Within the portal settings, you will see a total of 5 different sections. Directory plus subscription lets you manage directories and set subscription filters. Here, directories refers to Azure tenants associated with Microsoft Entra ID. You can see the list of available directories your account is part of. The current directory refers to the Azure tenant you are actively signed into. In this example, we have only one Microsoft Entra tenant. On all directories tab, you can see a full list of directories to which you have access. To mark a directory as a favorite, select its star icon. Those directories will be listed in the favorites section. The startup directory shows the default directory when you sign into the Azure portal or last visited if you have chosen that option. To choose a different startup directory, select change to open appearance plus startup views where you can change your selection. If you have multiple directories, you can switch between them from here as well. To switch to a different directory, find the directory that you want to work in, then select the switch button in its raw. Let's go to appearance section. The appearance pan has two sections. The appearance section lets you choose menu behavior and your color theme. The startup view section lets you set options for what you see when you first sign in to the Azure portal. The menu behavior section lets you choose how the Azure portal menu appears. When you choose the flyout option, the menu remains hidden and only appears when accessed. You can select the menu icon in the upper left hand corner to open or close the menu. When the dark option is selected, the menu remains visible but you can collapse it to free up space when required. From service menu behavior, we can choose whether the resources menu is collapsed or expanded. The theme that you choose affects the background and font colors that appears in the Azure portal. In the theme section, you can choose to use a light or dark theme. You can also select auto to have the Azure portal theme follow your system settings. From startup views, you can choose the default page that appears when you access the Azure portal. It can be either the home screen or specific dashboard. This is also the page where you can configure the startup directory. It can always be the same one you choose or the last one visited. Select the last visited option to have the Azure portal open in the same directory you used during your previous session. Choose select a directory option to select a specific directory. You will start in that directory every time you sign into the Azure portal even if you had been working in a different directory last time. If you have made changes here, click the apply button to save them. Language and region section is straightforward enough allowing you to select the language of Azure portal and the regional format for dates, numbers, etc. This is largely down to your preferences and there are several options available. Use the drop down list to select from the list of available languages. Select an option to control the way dates, time, number and currency are shown in the Azure portal. After making your desired changes, be sure to select apply to save them. The my information section is designed for communications and personalized tips. When there are outages or security issues in Azure, your email address will be used by Microsoft to reach out and inform you about affected services. One handy feature here is the portal personalization which can help you and your team to be more productive. You can select what you plan to do with Azure and it will generate tips 
tools and services to help you. Information about your custom settings is stored in Azure. To export your portal settings, select export settings from the top of the My Information pane. This downloads a JSON file that contains your user settings data. Due to the dynamic nature of user settings and risk of data corruption, you can't import settings from the JSON file. However, you can use this file to review the settings you selected. It can be useful to have an exported backup of your selections if you choose to delete your settings and private dashboards. If you have made changes to the Azure portal settings and want to discard them, select Restore Default Settings from the top of the My Information pane. You will be prompted to confirm this action. If you do so, any changes you have made to your Azure portal settings are lost. This option doesn't affect dashboard customizations. The last option in the Azure portal settings enables you to configure session timeouts for account inactivity. It is always a good idea to enable session timeout to keep your account and resources secure. In the drop down menu next to sign me out when inactive, choose after 15 minutes. If you are inactive during the portal session, Azure portal will sign out after the duration you set. In our example, it is 15 minutes. Select Apply to save your changes. If you are a global administrator in the Azure portal, you can also enable directory level timeout that will apply to all users. Select the Enable directory level idle timeout checkbox. Select the time duration according to your organization's requirement. Select Apply to save your changes. If your admin has enabled an inactivity timeout policy, you can still choose your own timeout duration, but it must be shorter than the directory level setting. To do so, select Override the directory inactivity timeout policy, then enter a time interval for the override value. Select Apply to save your changes. The last setting here is the About notification that are visible in the portal. As you know that some information about resource interaction will be shown in the form of notification. To enable or disable pop-up notifications, select a clear show pop-up notifications. By default, all three options are selected. You can set them as per your requirements. To read all notifications received during your current session, select the notification icon from the global header. Again, click on the gear icon. If you have multiple subscription, you can use the subscription filters to narrow down the list. Since we have only one subscription, this feature isn't very useful for us. You can choose the subscriptions that are filtered by default when you sign in to the Azure portal. This can be helpful if you have a primary list of subscriptions you work with but use other occasionally. To customize filters, select Advanced Filters. You will be prompted to confirm before continuing. Click on Continue. Advanced Filters appears in the left navigation menu of Portal Settings. Click on Advanced Filters. Here you can create and manage multiple subscription filters. Your currently selected subscriptions are saved as an imported filter that you can use again. You will see this filter selected in directories plus subscriptions. In our example, you can see default advanced filter is selected. If you want to stop using advanced filters, select the toggle again to restore the default subscription view. Click on continue. Any custom filters you have created are saved and will be available to use if you enable advanced filters in the future. Perhaps later in this video series, we will have a dedicated video on how to create, modify and delete subscription filters. Don't forget to save your changes by clicking the apply button. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.